it's really fast. I've never driven one of these before. And this is like the funnest thing I've ever like used. It's an electric scooter. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Today we're gonna go visit our grandparents, but we need to do, or actually run a few errands before we go, and we are all set, ready. I have my pink shirt on, that is actually one of the shirts that I bought when we were on vacation on spring break, and this is one of the shirts. I have my jeans on, and I have my new GoPro hat, and it is very special, and so I decided to wear it, especially for this vlog, and I use GoPro a lot. But anyway, we're gonna go to Staten Island and have a very great time. We just finished car wash and this place has changed a lot ever since we've been here a long time ago. But well, we had a fun time sitting in the car to the car wash and now we're gonna go to stores to get some things for grandma and grandpa. So now they don't have those people who who dry the windows and everything with or the car with the towel, so dad is over there cleaning his own towel that we had in the trunk and he's cleaning and drying the car so yeah, I'll see you guys at the store. We came to Home Depot to get some tomatoes, basil, because Grandma loves to plant things, so we're here to get her some some plants. We're seeing what they have. Tomatoes over here. You need tomatoes, Dad? They're over here. But yeah, we're here to get some things, and then we'll see what else is there, and there's a bee. We are trying some things different, some new peppers, some new tomatoes, and some new basils. So far we got something new. This is a hot banana plant. If you wanted to try that, so we're getting a few new things. It feels like we're planting our own garden. But at the same time, we're also getting things that Grandma requested for us to get. Look at all these pretty flowers. Wow. There are so many other garden equipment you need here, but we came down to eight uh, plants, as well as a few new ones. We have the plants, we're gonna go inside to Grandma, and here her dog comes. Here he is, or she, I don't know. Here's her plant collection, and we're adding more. <laughs> Even outside has uh, plants too. So we're adding a lot more plants, like seven.
stick to the LED lights to the door frame. It looks amazing, and this is very similar to the lights we have at our room. And we have it all around the door frame, all around. We are getting a bunch of dirt to plant the plants, and we're basically helping and assisting Grandma today. Fiona and Dad are doing a pretty good job. It's almost full, probably halfway full. So Fiona's the bucket, and Dad's scooping the dirt into the bag, and then we're gonna use all this dirt to plant the plants. <laughs> We are about done putting the potting mix into the uh, whole little bucket there, and then I believe we're going to put the plants in there, and then we're going to have nice plants, nice fresh plants, instead of these flowers, plants over there, and as well as inside ones, but we're going to have new plants out here, so we're about done here. All we need to do is plant the plants into the Why? bucket. It literally feels like we're opening our own garden with all these plants, indoor and outdoors. Could this be our next garden? No, I'm just kidding. This could. This is Grandma's garden, and if you think about it, we take care of this garden most of the time. Well, she takes care of the garden too, but this is a garden that we like to take care of for her, especially when the weather gets warm. She has a whole bunch of plants in here, even over here, all around this room, and also all the way, and all out there as well. I guess you could say this is kind of like a wholesome video because we're helping help Grandma, because we love to help out people, and especially me, I love to help out people because it's just really warms my heart to help people, especially grandma and grandpa. When they get old, then they can't really do anything much, and we have to help them, which is really nice. As you saw before, we stick the lights to the door frame of this door, and now we're going to do it to this door right here, so then we'll be done with the lights, but we still need to work on the plants outside. But because there's bees, we can't do it. But when the bees goes away, and we're probably going to be done with this door frame with the lights, and then the bees will probably go away. So then which means we can get the plants done, and then we'll be done, I guess, for now. <laughs> just plugged in the lights and it worked. That is so dope. Wow. But it's not supposed to flash, is it? Well, we got the... It comes with the remote control. Alright, give me that. This is dope. The second one works. We successfully got both of the lights working, plugged in, and changed colors. These are actually really fancy remotes. All you have to do is tap them, and it has different functions here. And you don't change, you don't choose the direct color, but you just have to wait until you get that color. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Grandma got you know the trend of lights, and so she has these colored lights. One is purple, one is red. You can obviously change colors to both of them, but this is what we have it set for now. Now it feels like a trendy garden, and it looks really, really cool. Okay, I just came into this room, and this is doper. I don't even know if that's a word, but this is doper than the lights. She has a whole Lego roller coaster built here. Ooh, that is the coolest thing ever. And like, how did she have the time to do this? Like, she put piece to piece, all from the tracks, to the ground, to the flowers, to the people, to the coaster. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen from LEGO. She even has a whole Ferris wheel in here. 
Like, she has a whole amusement park in here, too. Okay, we just got it working, like, out of nowhere. And if you're gonna just give it a little push right here, and it went fast. And, like, I couldn't even catch up, but this time I'll try to... I'll try to catch up, but this is so cool. Like, I cannot believe how she did this. Like, should I get one, Fiona? Yeah. I should, and I should build this. I mean, this would be really cool, and it would be worth the time. Yeah. Alright, we're just trying our best to pretend it has batteries and it works. And that's supposed to, like, the chain is supposed to go up by itself, but it doesn't have batteries, and it's, I think it's really old. So, we're trying to make it work to see if we can do it again. But we're trying to use it really like an actual roller coaster. Oh so we'll, we'll see when we get it up there. Alright, here it goes. Guys, you ready? Cool. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, send it. Wow! It should keep. Grandpa's letting a chance for us to ride the scooter. And Fiona, you want to go first? This is how it works. Alright, so it's in the middle of slow and fast. Alright, ready? I don't want to crash into the car. Ready? Wait, I don't have my driver's license. How am I supposed to drive? I'm just kidding. Okay, ready guys? Here we go. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> this is so cool. It's uh, not that fast, but... Alright, let's see. A little faster. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing in the world. This is so fun. Imagine getting this. Alright, let me beep the horn. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, this is so... Oh, the break is intense. Alright, let me turn this thing around. We now know how to use this thing and we're gonna ride it all the way across the sidewalk on the street. Not on the street, but on the sidewalk. And you wanna go first or me? I go first? Okay, so I'll... I'll uh, Take you guys along on this. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Let's go a little fast. gonna go. Wait, this yeah, that button. Yeah. When uh -huh. you pull it towards you. All right, there she goes. She's yeah. going. And then if you if you let go, it'll slow down and stop. Look at Fiona. She's going a little faster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where'd you that go to? Beep that horn. That's the car. Beep that horn. <laughs> She's going so fast. Okay, maybe you want to slow down. Here we go. Alright, now you have to turn back around and go back. Alright, let me... Yeah, you kind of want to... Yeah, just like that. Yeah, you got it. That scooter over there has to be like the funnest thing we've ever rode. I don't think we even rode that before. We only rode on the back of it with grandma, but we never rode it ourselves and drove it ourselves. You having fun on this? It's really fast. I've never driven one of these before. And this is like the funnest thing I've ever like used. It's an electric scooter. Oh my God, <laughs> that was a big bump there. She's going like 100 miles per hour electric scooters talking and like 
Okay, I'm, I think we're gonna go one more time and we're gonna go have lunch. Just left grandma and grandpa's house. We're gonna go over to Burger King to have lunch. So we had a coupon and that's why I have two chicken sandwiches, but what I did was I put one barbecue sauce on one sandwich and then one is just the sauce and then the the lettuce and then there's the fries, a drink. Dad got the impossible whopper like he always does. Fiona got chicken nuggets and a cheeseburger fries. So yeah, that's our lunch. We had a wonderful time spending almost the whole day with Grandma and Grandpa, and we helped them a lot today. She called me earlier and she was like, thank you so much. She was like, keep saying thank you and thank you. To the point I can't count where she said thank you, because like I really know she appreciates that we helped her with the things she can't really do, because not to be rude or anything, but she's getting old. And so we really like times when we do that. We really like helping out our grandparents, and if you could do anything kind today, please go do that because it just warms my heart, and you'll feel the same way. They'll keep saying thank you, especially elder people, and I really can't count how many times she said thank you because she's very appreciative that we helped her with a lot. And hanging the lights on into that little room, planting her little plants, and at the same time, she let us ride her little scooter. It was absolutely hilarious. Grandma, if you're watching this, I, like, I just want to say you're welcome, and I appreciate all the things you did and took care and raised Dad. So I guess that's the only thing I can do in return is saying thank you for raising our dad like this. And so, to give us the best of best of all, everybody it basically just warms my heart and makes my day for the amount of times she said thank you for us to help her.